But hi everyone, here's the next in my series of tutorials, uh, this one on how I animate lightning. So first off, I'll find a reference on Tumblr, Instagram or Pinterest and collect the images I like the best. I'll then look on YouTube to find videos of what I'm animating. After this, I'll get to sketching and doing tests. Here's a few I did earlier. I've slowed these down a little so you can take a look at the frames. I think they work quite well, though these strikes are without a whiteout, they're not in a scene and they don't have a glow, which I'll be talking about in a bit. I always have a few blank frames in the beginning, just around 10 to give a bit of a gap. To start off, I'll animate the lightning strike coming into the frame like this. After that, it's the full lightning strike. I use a 10 or 8 point round brush to create the main strike of lightning and then either with a grey brush or on a new layer with a lowered opacity, I use a 3 point brush to add several smaller lines branching out. Next comes the whiteout, which I usually put on a new layer and just turn the frame completely white then mess about with the opacity, usually being around 50-60%. or The next frame is where the lightning begins to dissipate or fracture and this is where you can use a thinner brush to reduce the light and strike in width. Throw a couple of gaps in there to show it's fading and the next frame is the same process but more extreme. So lots of gaps and a few marks just to show where the lightning was as it returns back to the blank frames. For the glow, I duplicated my animation layer and added a Gaussian blur effect to the frames using TV Paint's effects tools and made a new layer. I used a white textured brush to roughly go over the lightning on each frame and then went to the effects, stylize and then glow from the drop down menu. I set both the width and the height to 20 and changed the colour from white to purple. I selected apply on current layer, all instances and heads before hitting apply effects stack. And this was the result. Obviously TV Paint allows you to export as a PNG so you can composite this in another program with a background or characters in it. Or you can draw straight into TV Paint and animate on top like I did with this one. The only difference here, other than that it doesn't have a glow, is that I drew the background beforehand and used a textured brush to add in the light. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I really enjoyed making it and I hope it was helpful. Any requests, leave a comment or find me on Instagram and Twitter as Katie Sketch. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell, I post a new video every week.